Hello, uh, shipmates and uh, fellow professional uh, marine officers and students. Today, uh, we'll uh, discuss the uh, Consolidated Marpo 73-78, Annexes 1 to 6. The International Convention for the uh, Prevention of Pollution from Seeds, 73 slash 78. This is my Marple video number three, Annex two. The control of pollution from uh, by uh, noxious liquid substances in bulk entered into force on April 6, 1987. After viewing this video, you will be able to explain the category of nucleus liquid substances pollutants, discuss the construction requirements, state the principle in pollution prevention of nucleus liquid substance in bulk, explain the procedures in unloading, stripping, and pre-washing, and explain the requirements of the cargo record book, identify safety precautions in handling petroleum products, and state the equipment and installations for nucleus liquid substances handling. And next two covers all liquid substances, which present potential hazard to the marine environment. An exception to this is with regards to mineral oils, this regulation under Annex 1. The Annex 2 regulation for this control of pollution by nucleus liquid substances in bulk define four categories. System for nucleus and liquid substances. These are the categories of nucleus liquid substances. Category A. Nucleus liquid substances if discharged into the sea from tank cleaning or the, or the ballasting operations would present a major hazard, either marine resources or human health, or cause serious harm to amenities or other legitimate uses of the sea, and therefore justify application of stringent anti-pollution measures. Examples of this category A are acetone, cyanohydrins, carbon disulfide, cresols, naphthalenes, and tetraelid. Category B, noxious liquid substances if discharged if received from tank cleaning or the ballasting operations would present a hazard to either marine resources or human health or cause harm to amenities or other legitimate uses of the sea and therefore justify the application of the special anti-pollution measures. Examples are acrylonitrite, carbon tetrachloride, ethylene dichloride, and phenol. 
category C. Mucous liquid substance is discharged into the sea from tank cleaning or the ballasting operations would present a minor hazard to either marine resources or human health or cause minor harm to amenities or other legitimate causes of the sea and therefore require special operations condition. Examples of these categories are benzene, styrene, toluene, and silene. Category X. Mucous liquid substances, if discharged into the sea from tank cleaning or the ballasting operations, are deemed to present a major hazard to either marine resources or human health, and therefore justify the prohibition of discharge into the marine environment. Category Y. Nucleus liquid substance is discharged into the sea from tank cleaning or the ballasting operations are deemed to present a hazard to either marine resources or human health <coughs> or cause harm to amenities or other legitimate uses of the sea and therefore justify a limitation on the quality and quantity of discharge into the marine environment. Construction requirements, segregated ballast tanks are defined as tanks which are completely separated from the cargo oil and fuel oil system, which are permanently allocated to the to carriers of ballast. They are served by their own pumps and piping adequate for their purpose, the double hull, area provides a perfect place for ballast. These are some of the pictures of construction of a vessel.
The following are the parameters which guarantee an adequate rewas. These are rotating washing machines, sufficiently high water pressure, number of or location of washing machines, temperature of washing water, and number of operating cycles of machine pump and filter is complied with. The washing of cargo tanks after the cargo is discharged with procedures outlined in Marple Annex 2, this manual and US regulation. Tank washing that is not required under Marple is not considered prewas. Tank washing is subsequent disposal unsure that is done for commercial reasons only and not required under Marpol. Prewas procedures non solidifying substances. Tank shall be washed by means of a rotary water jet operated at sufficient high water pressure. In the case of category X, substances cleaning machines shall be operated in such location that all tank surfaces are washed. In the case of category Y, substances only one location need be used. Number two, during washing, the amount of water in the tank shall be minimized by continuously pumping out slaps and promoting flow to the suction, positive list and trim. If this condition cannot be met, the washing procedure shall be repeated three times with thorough stripping of the tank between washings. Number three, the substance which have a viscosity equal or greater than 50 MPA or 20 degrees centigrade shall be washed with hot water temperature at least 60 degrees centigrade unless the properties of such substance 
make the washing less effective. Number four, the number of cycles of the cleaning washing use cannot be less than that is specified in table 6-1. A cleaning machine cycle is defined as the period between two consecutive identical orientations of the tank cleaning machines rotating through 360 degrees. Five. After washing the tank cleaning machines shall be kept operating long enough to flush the pipeline, pump and filters and discharge to sure reception facilities shall be continued until the tank is empty. Cargo record board. Every ship to which this annex applies shall be provided with a cargo record book, whether as part of the ship's official logbook or otherwise, in the form specified in Appendix 2 to this annex. After completion of any operation specified in Annex 2 to this annex, the operation shall be promptly recorded in the cargo record book. Number three, in the event of an accidental discharge of a nucleus liquid substance or a mixture containing such a substance or a discharge under the provisions of regulation three of this annex, an entry shall be made in the cargo record book stating the circumstances of and the reasons for discharge. Number four, every entry shall be signed by the officer or in charge of the operations concerned and each page shall be signed by the master of the ship. The entries of the cargo record book for ships holding international pollution prevention certificate for the carriage of noxious liquid substances in bulk or a certificate referred to in regulation seven of this annex shall be at least in English, French, or Spanish, where entries in an official national language of the state whose flag the ship is in, entitled to fly are also used. This shall prevail in case of a dispute or discrepancy. The cargo record book shall be kept in such a place as to be readily available for inspection and except in case of unmanned ships, under tow, shall keep on board the ship, it shall be retained for a for three period of three years after the last entry has been made. The competent authority of the government 
of a party may inspect the cargo record book and board, any ship to which this annex applies while the ship is in port and may make a copy of any entry in the book and may require the master of the ship to certify that the copy is true copy of such entry. Equipment and installations, oily water separator and ancillary equipment, cold oil rising, dedicated clean ballast tank operation, segregated ballast tank, islap tank, discharge monitoring and control equipment, pumping and piping arrangement. Mucous liquid substance disposal, a tank from which a substance in category X has been unloaded, shall be pre-washed before the ship leaves the port of unloading. The resulting residue shall be discharged to a reception facility until the concentration of the substance in the effluent to such facility as indicated by analysis of samples of the effluent taken by the surveyor is or below 0 0.1% by weight. When the required concentration level has been achieved, remaining tank washing shall continue to be discharged to the reception facility until the tank is empty. Appropriate entries of these operations shall be made in the cargo record book and endorsed by the surveyor referred to in regulation 16.1. Forms and documentation. Transport of vegetable oils and MEPC resolution and guidelines for the transport of vegetable oils in deep tanks or in dependent tanks, especially designed for the carrier of such oil and board dry cargo ships, as adopted in October 2004. It allows a general cargo ship that are currently certified to carry vegetable oil in bulk to continue to carry these vegetable oils on specific trades. The guidelines also takes effects on January 1, 2007. Consequential amendments to the IBC code. 
also adopted in October 2004, reflecting the changes of Marpol Annex 2. The annex, the amendments incorporate revisions to this categorization of certain products relating to their properties as potential marine pollutants, as well as revisions to ship type and carriage requirements. Ships construction under after 1986, carrying substances identified in Chapter 17 of the IBC code must follow the requirements for design, construction, equipment, and operation of chip contained in this code. Particular sensitive sea areas, the NEPC agreed to designate of the Western Union, West, Western European waters as a new PSSA. There are new seven designated PSSAs. The Great Barrier Reef of Australia designated in 1990, Savannah Kamigi Archipelago in Cuba in 1997, Mapelo Islands in Colombia in 2002, Around the Florida, Florida Cliffs of the United States in 2002, Waden Sea, Denmark, Germany, and Netherlands in 2002, and Paracas National Reserve in Peru in 2003, and Western European waters in 2004. Chemicals carried in package form, the amendments incorporated revisions to the categorization of certain products relating to their properties as potential marine pollutants, as well as revisions to ship type and carriage requirements. Number two, contracting governments are required to issue instruction at the national level and the chapter reports to International Maritime Dangerous Codes, IMDG code developed by IMO, which is constantly updated to accommodate new dangerous codes and to supplement to revise existing provisions. This is the end of my video. My next video will be Marpol video 4, which is Marpol Annex 3 and Annex 4. Please click the subscribe button so that you will be notified on my next videos. Thank you, my friends and guys. This is Chief Engineer Jose Garcia Bogan, PhD. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel to view my next videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.